Well, hello again, and we are now in Romans chapter 10. Uh, if you can believe it, we're making our way uh, through the entire book of Romans through these daily devotions. I hope they're encouraging to you. I hope they're uh, life-giving and that you're getting a lot out of them. Um, today, we're looking at a section that, in my Bible, the section is titled Righteousness by Faith Alone. And what was happening is that Paul's speaking to um, Jewish Christians in the city of Rome who are trying to mix the law of the old covenant with the new covenant of Christ. And so, so he keeps kind of unpacking this, talking about this. And he, he writes in verse two of chapter 10 that I can testify about them. That's the Jewish Christians who are trying to live kind of both end. He says uh, that they have a zeal for God, but not according to knowledge, since they are ignorant of the righteousness of God and attempted to establish um, their own righteousness. They have not submitted to God's righteousness. What Paul's saying here is that these um, Jewish followers have, have a zeal for God. They're very passionate for God. They're very passionate about the law, about the old covenant, but, but it's not according to knowledge. What's this knowledge? This is new knowledge that Jesus is the righteousness of God, right? And so they don't have that knowledge. Um, and so they're ignorant, he says, of that righteousness. And as a result, they're trying to establish their own righteousness um, through the law. And then verse four, for Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone who believes. He's saying that, um, he's not saying that the law was bad. He's just saying that at the end of the law is Christ and that's new knowledge, that's the new covenant and that, um, and that these, these zealous um, followers of Judaism are, are, are missing it because they don't, they don't follow Jesus. And then in verse nine, uh, Paul, Paul writes, if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. One believes with the heart resulting in righteousness and one confesses with the mouth resulting in salvation. For the scripture says everyone who believes on him will not be put to shame. So, so Paul is saying, listen, there, it's not by following the law that we are saved, that we are justified, right? He's saying it's through um, confessing with your mouth that Jesus is Lord there's, and believing in your heart. So it's, it's about faith. Um, there's an importance. Why, why is confession important? Because it's, it's, it's saying out loud. to your, You can hear it. Other people around you can hear, I'm a follower of Jesus. Um, you know, I heard a story once of someone who was really proud of the fact that no one at their work knew that they were a Christ follower. And I thought, is it because you're ashamed or of, of being a Christian or like, what is that about? And I think there's something powerful here that when we believe in our heart, right, and confess with our mouth, Paul's saying, listen, you're going to be saved. You're going to walk in newness of life with Christ. And I love in verse 13, he says, for everyone, everyone, say everyone. Yeah, just go ahead and say it out loud right where you're at. Everyone, for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Oh my goodness. Everyone that calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. It doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter what religion you followed before. It doesn't matter um, what lifestyle you've chosen. It doesn't matter um, all the bad things you've done in the past. It doesn't matter. It's like everyone, everyone means everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. And then verse 14, how then can they call on him they have not believed? And how can they believe without hearing about him? And how can they hear without a preacher? And how can they preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. I want to encourage you that as you, those of you who have confessed Jesus with your mouth, as those of you that have believed in your heart, um, that Jesus is Lord, I want to encourage you to take that to the next step. Don't be zealous for righteousness. Don't be zealous for your own man-made and rules and regulations and things that you think are right and things that you think you're wrong. Don't be zealous for that, but be zealous for Jesus. Yeah, you know, like, like Jesus, help me to be a, a person who shares your life and your love. 
Help me to be a person that, that takes the gospel of peace, that takes the good news of Jesus to our world. Love you all and have a wonderful day. Thank you.